Hello, hi, um, welcome back. And uh, yeah, so I was having some trouble proving this, but I got it. Okay, so after the recording, I thought about it and I got some breakthrough. I mean, this isn't some big proof, but still, it's a progress, right? Okay, let's get the party started. It's Saturday night slash Sunday morning, so well, I took a long nap today, so no problem. Uh, okay, let me gather my things, okay? Uh, give me one second here. missed was that um, okay let's review all right it's been a while so um, uh, we define we were uh, we had to define a brand new set it's called quotient set all right we are doing mu algebra okay um, it's about a set of multiples and related sets uh, Q, uh, we, we cannot use Q for quotient set because we res reserve that word for this Q, Q operator, quotient operator, and also large Q that's like rational number. Okay, set of rational numbers, so we cannot use that. Okay, so we use K instead. It, that kind of sounds similar, right? Okay, so. <coughs> What is KDT? Uh, you have D, D, a, D as a divisor, okay? We're not going to use A, we use D, okay? D is a divisor, and from number 1 to T, okay? You divide them with D. Then what's the quotient? Okay, that's quotient set, all right? And, um, uh, actually, it's not that. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's this definition is not is not complete, or is it? Yeah, it's tricky, really. <coughs> Uh, what we mean by quotient set it <coughs> is that, uh, by the way, we don't care about zero. All right, so I gotta put on some clothing because it's kind of cold. You see, yeah, I think it's a proper definition because uh, if you divide one and two by three, quotient is zero. We don't care about that, okay? We exclude zero, all right? Why? Because it's not useful to us, all right? So we define X, X is the member of this, this set, okay? Yeah, it's a set function because you take in two variables Two numbers and output is a set that's why it's set function okay <coughs> whose member is x okay and x has to be one or more we, we don't care about zero all right so it's like uh if if top is 14 and divisor is three we don't care about one and two 
we start from 3. Okay? And 3 divided by 3, quotient 1. 4 divided by 3, quotient is 1. 5, quotient is 1. Okay, so that's that. And not only that, we don't really care about 4 and 5, right? Why? Because they have to be multiple of 3, as you can see. You have 3, 3 times 1, 3 times 2, blah, 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 and their multiples should be t or less. That's the only thing we care about. We don't care about this remainder stuff, okay? We want exact numbers, multiples, right? So if we define it this way, um, <coughs> and then um, we uh, express t in terms of this Euclidean division, right? divisor times some quotient, we call it L, not Q, because Q is our operator, okay? So you don't, we don't want to use Q too often, okay? So, and we have that, and we know, um, because T is at least D, they're all positive numbers, okay? So T is D or more, and that's why um, L has to be one or more. Why? Because R is small, right? R is smaller than D. If D is zero, then T is R, which is smaller. Uh, yeah, that can be equal, right? Yeah. But uh, let's see. This is why it's so tricky. Let's think about this. I'm sorry. R is strictly less than T, okay? So, all right. If L is zero, then T is equal to R, right? And R is less than T, D and t is strictly less than d but that doesn't make sense right so because t has to be at least d you know why because they are all positive numbers okay <coughs> we don't know yet l could be zero or not but assume l is zero okay uh okay let's see Here, okay? Yeah, x can be 1, right? Then uh, we assume that t is at least d, okay? Uh, uh, man, I'm, I'm confused. What if x is 2? This is not easy. <laughs> what am I missing? <sighs> well, let's do step by step, okay? So D is Okay. If X is one, then yeah. Well, it's, again, it's confusing. So let's put it on the same side of these things. Can I use? Red.
We don't want it to look like blood, you know. No. Because, I mean, it's cow blood. Yeah, in Korea, we eat cow blood cake. Okay, so I mean, in some southern states, Americans eat cow blood too, right? But we fully cook it, okay? I, I, I know that's forbidden in Bible, but if you fully cook it, I think all the germs die, so I think that's fine. The same Paul said, anything that sells in the market, yeah, is safe to consume. Right? So, uh, yeah. no, no, no. What am I doing? Okay. <coughs> Can we say this? That's my question. X is one or more. Then is this true? When x is 1, it's dead, but when x is 2, is this ho still hold true? We know t over 2 is bigger. t is a positive num number, okay? So um, it's smaller than um, t, right? Okay. So we cannot quite say this, I don't think. Uh, because we don't know when L is zero or not. Ah, man. Can L be ever zero? I don't think so, because if L is zero, then T becomes R, which is less than D, <coughs> strictly less. But T is supposed to be at least D. I mean, uh, not really. Wait a minute. I, I think that's true because X, if X is one, what if X is two? Should we condition such that uh, t is bigger than d or at least d? Should, should we make that another condition here or is this enough? <coughs> because I want this definition to be as simple as possible. Okay, so is, does it become re redundant if we add that condition? This condition or is it something necessary? Or is it just synthetic sugar? Okay, so. Do you understand what I'm saying? If not, don't worry about it, all right? Because mathematics, it's not that important. We just do it for fun, okay, so. Let's make concrete example, okay, so. Uh, T is 14, right? When x is 1 and divisor is 3, yeah. When x is 2 and divisor is 3. So this means 3 is less than 7. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> As x increases, x times d increases, right? 
and as it x times t gets bigger and bigger, it still is bound by t. T is the upper limit, top. Okay. The worst case scenario, we want d to be very big, okay? Maybe d can be equal to t, then x has to be 1, right? <clears throat> but as x increases, d has to be smaller, right? t is the upper limit, x times d has to be t or less, okay? So the worst case scenario, d is equal to t, alright? And x has to be 1. But as x increases, d has to diminish. When x increases, d has to decrease to preserve this uh, inequality or equality, okay? So yes, t has to be, I think this is com complete and is enough, sufficient, right? So we just need to prove it. Okay. Uh, we have to prove that d is t or less from this definition alone. There's so many different things to prove, right? Oh, it's okay. We create a brand new world. It's mu algebra. Okay. There are a lot of lemmas, theorems. So that's how it's supposed to be. You know, brand new mathematics. It's like a country, okay? There are many residents. <coughs> okay? <coughs> Alright. It's normal, okay? So. Uh, obviously, we need another whiteboard, okay? So. We call it XDT theorem. Okay, XDT theorem, <coughs> uh, and we we will state it and we'll prove it. Okay, so. Okay. the whiteboard I have here, <coughs> it contains mu. So that's why we are doing mu algebra, right? So that's why I'm kind of hesitating erasing the, about erasing all this because we may need it. But mu algebra is nothing difficult, okay? So we just go ahead and erase that. And yeah, we are, we are running out of whiteboard, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we can reconstruct it, okay, so. Mu algebra is easy, it's easy. It's tricky, but it's not difficult. We just have to be careful, step by step, right? Okay, so what I ha have I been to? Yeah, I took a long nap. Right now it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning. Saturday night. So I took a long nap and I was like, oh, I don't want to do mathematics. I took a long nap. I woke up like 9 o'clock p.m. So I don't want to do mathematics and uh, I want to socialize. So I went to a bar. Okay. <coughs> Stone Cold Sober. <coughs> yeah. I went to karaoke bar, sang two songs. <coughs> Next door, there's this nice dance club, local band. And my favorite local band was playing. Okay, so I did dancing. Okay, so yeah, talk to fr talk to people. You know, people, my local friends. Okay, so neighbors. So I talked to them, and yeah, I had a very good time. Okay, did I drink? Yeah. How much did I drink? Yeah, two beer and one wine, red wine. But in the beginning, okay. After that, I stayed for hours. Just drinking water. So I'm stone cold sober now.
okay. So I don't drink and drive, okay. I make sure I get sober before I drive. Now, yeah, I'm drinking vodka. But on the outside, yeah, I drink wine and, wine and beer because, come on, I gotta drive. I gotta get sober up, right? Uh, so, but at home, yeah, I drink strong liquor, like vodka. Okay, because I'm not driving anyway. Okay. So. XDT theorem, all right? So, uh, XDT theorem, all right? It's not trademark, it's theorem, okay? So, we can call it lemma, but we just call it theorem, all right? So, what is lemma? I think it's like a smaller theorem. Come on the door, come on. Okay, if, all right? <coughs> Then comma means end, logical end, okay? And then um, D is less than or equal to T. We have to prove this, X to T theorem, okay? So, yeah. We may have to do logical induction, okay? Yeah, sure. When x is 1, yeah, then this is true, right? And we assume that when this is true for a x, and then somehow we need to prove that... Uh, I'm sorry, we cannot mix black and red, all right? So this satanic combination of color okay so okay when we assume x this is true for x how about x plus t i mean x plus one uh actually we don't know if this is so we'll just put square here, okay? Because we don't know whether this is less or equal, okay? That's what we are trying to prove, okay? So. Hmm. 
let's take a different approach yeah i suck i know yeah i, I suck suck at mathematics i really suck i'm not good at it at all <coughs> let's just add the <coughs> on both sides okay so then Uh, this may be false, okay? Okay, maybe we have to disprove it then. Uh, <clears throat> but logically, I think it should be true though. I mean, the worst case scenario, right? We are trying to prove that D is less then or equal to t okay we want to prove that t is small guy and t is big guy the worst case scenario t is equal to t and then x is one right but as x increases d has to decrease so d should be still less than or equal to t well it should be strictly less than t as x increases so this has to be true i just don't know how to prove that shit. <sighs> Maybe induction is wrong way to go about it. Okay, then what? Deduction? I think so. I, I think this whole thing is just was induction was wrong way to do it. I, I think I got it now. I think I got it. Maybe. Maybe. So here. Then because they are all positive numbers. This motherfucker, I'm sorry. This father fucker, okay. This Jesus fucker, God fucker. <laughs> so, this fucking asshole, okay. This this has to be less than t or equal to because x is one or more. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. I, I'm I'm sorry for swearing, but it gave me hard time so I'm like <coughs> okay I went to a bar and I went to a club okay I performed I sang two songs and I danced okay and when I perform I, I really perform okay why because I'm a performer all right I have performance performance background okay so yeah people people like what I do but I come home alone Okay, I don't go there to pick up girls. I don't. I go there to perform, entertain people, have fun. Okay, actually, I went there to have dinner, but they said the kitchen was closed. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. So, what did I drink? Guinness, because Guinness is like a meal, you know. And wine, okay, red wine. Hey, it some, has some calories, so I was kind of hungry, you know. I still am. But fasting, I guess. Sure. We fucking proved this shit, okay? So, it was not easy. Not easy for me. It wasn't easy for me. Maybe you... Maybe laughing at me. 
because it was easy for you, but it was not easy for me, okay, because I suck at mathematics. Okay. X D T theorem, all right, we fucking prove this. Okay, one line of proof, all right? <clears throat> one line proof. Two sentences. But what is one line of proof? Good. We're making progress here. <sighs> Let's take a break, all right? Let's take a break. <coughs> Alaskans are fantastic, okay? They're amazing Americans. Alaskans are... I love Alaskans. I love Alaska. We are like laid back. We have nature, moose, bears. Okay, we go hiking. Beautiful nature. Not so many people in Alaska, but we're very tightly knit community. We are very close to each other. Okay, we're like big family. Alaska is ah, uh, it's like paradise to me. Amazing people. Okay, great Americans. All different races, ages. They're fantastic. Let's take a break, okay? So, yeah. They never cease to impress me, Alaskans. Amazing people. Yeah. Great Americans. Alaskans. Uh, uh.
Yeah, so <clears throat> I went to the bar and I had a very good time because Alaskans are amazing. Very nice people. All different races. I mean it. Alaska is very racially diverse state. And yeah, they're fantastic people. I had a very good time, okay? You know, conversation and, you know, just looking at all these beautiful men and women. Yeah, very refreshing. Because you need to socialize. It's basic human need. Okay? It's important. Uh, to keep your sanity, <laughs> okay? So. Yeah, you need to socialize, okay? So, just don't drink and drive, okay? So, if you, yeah, I, I did drink. I went to bar. I had three drinks, two beer, one wine. But I stayed there for a very long time after that. Hours. I just drank water after that. I was like stone. I'm still co stone cold sober, can't you see? Yeah. Okay, we are walking our way up uh, because this is very, very tricky issue. Uh, okay, so uh, what's our next step? Uh, yeah, the quotient theorem. Okay, so <sighs> quotient theorem. Okay, so. so we proved this. I wrote it down. All right, so now we, I can erase this. Quotient theorem. Oh boy, that's... Yeah, it, this is nothing fancy. It's not group theory. It's not topology, okay? That I'm, I don't know much about. Uh, but it's still very challenging to me because I suck in mathematics. Okay, yeah, I suck. I'll admit it, all right? I'm not very good at mathematics, okay, so. But I'm, I'm trying, okay, at least I'm trying, right? I have good attitude, okay? I have good attitude, all right, so. Yeah. There's this country song, I think. It's not gospel song, but it sounds like gospel. Uh, because <clears throat> all our all country singers, mo they are mostly like Christians, right? So always be humble and kind. Yeah, I like that song. It's kind of preachy, but it was always be humble and kind. I, I like the rhythm. It naturally flows, right? Always be humble and kind. Hey, beautiful song, beautiful song. American country song, okay. So. Mm. Now, we are now armed with this uh, XDT theorem, right? Uh, that was our first theorem in this. Uh, Mu algebra that we proved, I think. Uh, I mean, we can call it K algebra, whatever. Quotient Q algebra, no matter what, how you name it. Okay, so. All right, let's just reiterate this quotient set. All right? Define that as. Yeah, this is a very compact definition, all right? It's a good definition. Positive integer, okay? So, Whew. quotient theorem, all right? We know it's true. This is something very elementary, okay? But to prove that it's proved uh, KDT 
absolute very number of members in this set is uh, T slide down and K becomes Q. D stays the same. We have to prove this. Uh, how about exclamation mark? Prove this, you idiots! <laughs> prove it! Oh, well, yeah, we're trying. Okay, so... Stop yelling at me! Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I went to dance club. I went to karaoke bar, right? I dance alone. <laughs> I'm a solo dancer. I don't do part much of dancing. Unless... Unless she's my girlfriend or we are dating, but I I uh, I do solo dancing. Okay, I call it like prophet dancing, prophet dance style, dance style, prophet dance style, prophet dance. Like, oh God, oh yeah. <clears throat> I I do other kind of dancing too, but yeah. My favorite music to dance to uh, is Highway to Hell by ACDC. Okay, so. Yeah, this fantastic local band, Alaskan local band, uh, they played, and I always, always, always dance to their music. Okay, because we can't, we're kind of friends, you know, this local, fantastic, my favorite band of all time. One of my favorite bands of all time, okay, they're here in Alaska, and um, they're fantastic, okay, they great musical talent and uh, they know me and I know them okay so yeah we are locals okay so yeah Alaska we are like big family we know each other we are like brothers and sisters okay so yeah so they played this song ACDC Highway to Hell for me and I danced and um, yeah it was a very good time So I'm kind of political animal, okay, so, yeah, I, uh, befriend people with, people in power, <laughs> okay, so, they know me, I know them, okay, we are kind of friends, so, yeah. me, it's a service, me performing entertainment to my neighbors, locals, friends okay yeah I do my job entertain them yeah give them a good time I have a good time too so. yeah okay my goodness how do we prove this thing I <sighs> okay so down there I have some notes okay so proof we cannot use black. We have to keep using red only or black only. We cannot mix black and red. Okay, so uh, proof. Uh, T is equal to D times L uh, plus R, where and um, L will just say it belongs to some integer. Okay, so we don't know whether it's zero minus plus we don't know some integer okay so uh but we have xtt theorem right so we're gonna use it because we proved it all right so uh by x D T theorem we know we know that D is less than T okay because T over X well this X is positive integer uh, it, X T over X has to be less than or equal to T okay so uh, I'm sorry, why, I don't know why it took me such a long time. Well, actually, I do know why. Because I suck at mathematics. I'm not good at mathematics. Okay, so, yeah, I suck. 
But at least I have a good attitude. I keep on trying. All right. Yeah, I don't give up. All right. So this, that, this, T or less. Okay. Then. Okay, well, before that, also, R is less than D, and D is less than or equal to T, so R is strictly less than T. You know that, right? R is less than D. D is less than or equal to T. So R has to be strictly less than T. You know that. Okay. So you have T and R. R is smaller than T. So this guy has to be a positive number. And we know D is a positive number. That's what we assumed, right? So L has to be a positive number. Not only that, Well, let's do step by step. Okay, so L has to be a, a positive integer. Okay, so why? T is bigger than R. So D times L has to be positive number to add, add up, sum up to T. Okay, and we know D is positive. Okay, that's what we assumed. So D has to be positive also. So D times L has to be a positive number. Okay, we got that much. Now, we assume that L is an integer, right? So, this L belongs to positive integer where this equivalent to saying uh, L is one or more. Positive integer, okay. I mean, and L uh, belongs to integer, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So. Now what? Why are we doing this? Uh, So what is L? I mean, by definition, L is equal to a T quotient D, right? You divide T by D divisor and the L is a quotient, right? So we know that much L is that. Now, so, Okay, so that's left hand side. This is right hand side, okay? So this is same as right hand side. Large L, that's capital L, left hand side. Small, lowercase L, that's L. Some variable, okay? So. Uh, we need to prove uh, L is equal to this guy, left hand side, okay? so. Let's see. Oh, 
observe okay or notice notice okay notice this like it's a by the way L is this guy now left hand side I It's very intractable problem, okay? So it's not amenable, it's not docile. It's a wild donkey, okay? So. <sighs> I feel I'm lost, but we'll, we'll find our, our way out of this, okay? So. <sighs> we want to prove this so that based on this definition and some theorems, all right. So that's why we have to design a definition properly, okay? Because the subsequent theorems can be proved based on the definition so we have to design the definition very carefully right oh. I, I think this is a nice definition but i'm not quite proving this okay not yet i'm trying oh this cranberry vodka is now is really good it's giving out this juice cranberry High bush cranberry, oh, very Alaskan. Okay, so yeah, this uh, cucumber, ba cucumber berry. Some people call it watermelon berry, but yeah. <sighs> we'll take a break very soon, okay, so, but not yet. I guess all we need to prove is that uh, X ranges from 1 to T, TQD, okay? And in a successive manner, 1, 2, all, X is equal to 1, then 2, all the way to TQD, okay? So TQD is the upper limit of X, okay? 
probably that's how we should prove this thing. When x is 1, yeah, d, we know by explicit theorem d is t or less, we know that, okay, so, but when x is tqd, uh, well, let's try that, okay, so, if x is equal to tqd x times d is equal to tqd times d okay so then well, we know l is tqd so then this l times d We have, we have L times D right there. Okay? Okay. This is equal to uh, T minus R. I don't, I don't know where this is going, okay? I'm just going with the flow. And we know this, because R is zero or more, we know this is uh, T or less, okay? Okay. But is this the very last element in this set? That's what we need to prove, all right? Yeah, it's Alice's Wonderland rabbit hole. Okay, I, I know, labyrinth, maze. Yeah, but... I have to do this. You, you don't have to do this, okay, but I have to do this. Why? I uh, take it as my job. Volunteerism, right? Man, this cucumber berry, oh, it's, it's, it's giving out its juice now. It's been sitting like this for a day or two, and now it's giving out its juice, finally. Uh, it's good. Better than sex. <laughs> okay, so. It's very good. I like it. Cucumber berry, vodka, <sighs> better than sex. Better than masturbation, okay, so. Better than orgasm, okay, so. Uh, I would not trade anything for this. Oh, this. So good. God bless Alaska, God bless America. Good vodka. Okay, uh, let's take a break. Okay, so I need some vocalized. Uh, it's not easy. Okay, so. we'll be right back. Okay, so.
We are back, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, uh, in group theory community, okay, they do these strange things like, <laughs> like you have said A, right? And they do this, said A, one, whatever. They call this as subtraction, but it shouldn't be. Why? Because this division, it's not subtraction. They should call this a subtraction. That's subtraction, okay? So, uh, we are not going to follow that stupid convention in group theory, okay? So, we, this is subtraction and this is division, okay? Because we will need that, okay? So, this is not subtraction, it's a division, all right? It's diagonal, it's division symbol, okay? So, we are not going to follow that stupid convention in group theory, okay? So, what were they thinking? Division is the same as subtraction. Why don't they use just subtraction, okay? <sighs> Idiots. Kicks and nerds. All right. Because uh, we need the division, set, set division, okay? Okay, let's say you have set of, uh, it cannot be black. Do I have some other colors? Yeah. Ah. Ah. Woo! Quite a workout. Yeah, I got some colors. <sighs> oh. You upset. Let's say two, four, six. Okay, you you can divide this by two. Okay, is equal to one, two, three. Okay, so just like that. Uh, M D T divide by D is equal to K D T. Okay. What is M D T? That's multiples of D, each of which is T or less. Okay. We don't care about zero, all right? It starts with D, 2D, 3D, all the way to up to T or less. Okay, so that's that. And if we divide that by D, oh man, because M, D, T is mul set of multiples of D, each of which is less than or equal to T. And if we divide that with D, then you have this quotient set. Okay, so this is something very important. Okay, so it means uh, absolute value of m d t is same as uh, absolute value of k d t. Okay, uh, but because k is already divided by d from m, it's a smaller number. Okay, so it's more tractable, amenable, docile. Domesticated. Okay. It's easier to handle because smaller numbers. Okay. That's why we, we are doing this. Okay? So let me write that down. Let me write that shit down. Okay, so. There's no need to prove this thing, okay? But we have to give it a name, right? Uh, we call it equivalent theorem, okay? Equivalent theorem. All right. 
We got the town. Now. I don't know how to prove this, okay? So, but we came a long way, though. I We made some achievement right here. I mean... Yeah, we we came a long way, okay? So, we did. We don't have to do everything today. We have tomorrow. Hopefully, okay? So, yeah. Hopefully the world does not end tomorrow. Hopefully the sky does not fall. So, so that God hopefully give us time to finish this thing okay so we humanologists we don't want this world to end okay we don't want apocalypse no okay, we want this to continue so that we can keep working okay we don't want to die right we don't want other people to die either we want to keep on living right so we are not some doomsday prophets. Okay, we want this to continue. Okay? <clears throat> we may be losers, okay, but we are trying. We have good attitude. We are trying to improve. At least we are trying, okay? <laughs> I mean, look at me. I'm running for president, okay? Whether I become president or not, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. As long as I, I try, I can sleep better at night. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, what are the two songs, two songs that I sang in karaoke? Yeah, Tommy, Tommy James and the sh sh Shandles. 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 I don't even know how to pronounce it, okay? Tommy James and the Shandles, okay? Crimson and Clover. That was first song, because it's kind of nice and slow. It's a good star rock. I, da 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 da, I hardly know her, da da da, but I think I can love her. Crimson and Clover, over and over. There was that second song, Devo, Coal Mine. I love coals. Just like President Trump. Yeah, clean coal. Yeah, yeah. I agree with him on that. Yeah, coal is good. I mean, if you, you do it right. Nowadays, you have all this technology to make clean coal. So, I agree with President Trump about that. Coal. Coal mining is a great thing. It's a good thing. Okay, so. Yeah, energy, you know. Global warming. Don't worry about it. Okay? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just deal with it. Okay. Change is the only constant. In the history of the universe macroscopically microscopically yeah so change is the only constant in our individual lives okay and that's why tattoo is so bad because tattoo is too permanent you don't want that you tattoo something right later on you re regret because you change you need to change change is a good thing okay right R rain is a good thing right some of my bodies saying Rain is a good thing, you know. Rain makes corn, corn makes whiskey. Whiskey makes my baby a little bit frisky. Yeah, good country song, okay, so. Yeah, change is a good thing, just like rain is a good thing, okay? So, you want to change, you need to change. But tattoos, it's too permanent. You cannot change that. So yeah, that's why tattoo is bad. Because you will regret it. You want to change. You're not going to like what you have done in the past. Okay, so. But it's there. I, it's, that's why tattoo is bad. Any tattoo is bad. Okay, Tat there is no such a thing as a good tattoo. Okay, uh, Unless there's some plastic surgery, breast reconstruction, and yeah. Some plastic surgery tattoo, yeah, it, it can be justified. Okay. 
uh, but in general tattoo is bad okay there are some exceptions but tattoo is bad because it's too permanent you don't want that thing on your skin to be permanently there you change you need to change okay you want to memorialize memorialize something yeah put it on on your t-shirt custom t-shirt okay so that maybe you change your mind later on you don't want to wear this t-shirt you can trash it okay so tattoo prevents blocks human evolution individual evolution okay and because you want to be bigger and better you want to change you want to change for the better right but tattoo kind of binds you to your past that you need to move on from okay psychology is always like tattoo okay they try to bound bind people to their past that's wrong okay we are not psychologists here we are, we are humanologists okay we reject and object psychology freudian binding people to their past bullshit okay so you have to move on and look ahead and don't look back don't ever look back okay so like jesus okay so don't ever look back don't ever look back and looking at this So we have to prove this x is equal to tqd. We have to prove that that's the maximum. Minimum is when x is 1. We know that, right? So, but we have to prove that this is the maximum, okay? Uh, the next number will be what? x plus 1, right? And we have to prove that that does not belong to this set. Then we are done okay all right so what is x plus one and why that x plus one does not belong to this all we gotta prove is maybe we have a breakthrough i don't know proof Okay, so we found an equivalent problem. We found some equivalent problem that's uh, easier to tackle. Okay, so all we need to prove that is that uh, this x plus one violates some of the condition in this definition. Okay, that's all we need to prove. Okay, so okay, it, this comes up very often in mathematics and also computer science. Okay, there's one problem, but that problem is very difficult to prove. But there is some equivalent problem that's easier to prove. Okay, so we prove that easier problem, then we proved equivalent problem. Very difficult thing to prove. Okay, good. We are making progress. Okay, so. What I mean is this, I'm sorry, I messed it up. Uh, TQD plus one does not belong to this guy. TQD is the, uh, yeah, T, it's not L, okay, it's, it's D. TQD, yeah, uh, it does belong there. TQD, we proved that, right? If t x is TQD, then yeah, it goes like that. So it's less than T, less than or equal to T. So yeah, it satisfies this condition. So TQD is 
in there in this set it's a member of this set but tqd plus one we have to prove that that does not belong to this set it violates this condition and we have to prove that okay so uh we'll do that after this break okay I'm kind of excited, okay, because we are getting there. I can smell it. Look at me. I, I, I mean, yeah, I went to a bar. I went to karaoke bar, dance club, but I, I'm, I came home alone because I, I don't pick up girls. I don't go there to pick up girls. I'm not like that. Why? Because I have respect to my neighbors, my locals. To me, they are like my sisters. Okay, so yeah. I just entertain them. I'm there to serve them, entertain them, make them entertained. Okay, so let's take five minutes and we're gonna get it. This time, yeah, we are going to get it. Okay, so. Uh, where's my cell phone? Okay, I, I go grab my cell phone and take a nice picture of this. It's kind of pretty. Yeah, blue and blue, white, red, black. Yeah, it's very pretty composition of colors. Okay, so. Alright, we'll be right back.
can cook in my dinner or breakfast, whatever. Because yesterday I ate one meal, that was that. Yeah, you know, Saturday, Sunday, weekend, I don't really need to eat very much because I'm at home. <laughs> so I don't consume any energy much during the weekdays. I eat five times a day. Small, small amount. Um, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Maybe three times, okay. Uh, but I some snacks too, but whatever. Okay, so we need to prove this. This TQD plus one does not belong to this guy because it violates this precondition. Uh, so we broke it down, okay. So uh, we are making very good progress here. Okay, so if you realize that, yeah, we are doing good, okay. So now let me grab some beer, okay, because uh, vodka is too strong. <laughs> Holding my ass of Vegas. Yeah, it's like what probably three or four o'clock in the morning Sunday so it's, it's getting dark okay in Alaska during the summer yeah it's quite bright in the middle of night but it's no longer summer it's autumn fall have you seen this movie the fall it's made by this Indian director okay not very well known, okay? He's not that Indian guy, director who made this horror movie with Bruce Willis. No, he's not that guy, but he's this Indian director, uh, maybe Indian American, I don't know, but he made this movie, The Fall, and he's, I think he's better than the guy who made that scary movie, <laughs> okay? because. The fall, the movie, oh, it was very, it should have won Academy Award, but it didn't. Because Hollywood Academy Award, they're idiots. Okay? What the fuck do they know? Right? Also, the movie Hero, you know, in Chinese martial art movie with, with Jelly and, oh, they, it was better movie than. Crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragon. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, yeah, it's a fine movie. It's, it's an okay movie, but the movie Hero, yeah, that, that was by far superior movie. Okay, so. Two Chinese directors, okay, one shenanigan, he get all the acclaim. Two Indian directors, one get all the acclaim, but the one who did not get acclaim, who is not as famous, they tend to be better ones okay so money power and fame it doesn't quite translate to true success true achievement in the eyes of humanology okay so and look at me and look at president trump okay I, i'm smarter i'm better little than he is he better than he can ever be okay but He's present, I'm not, all right? So, oh, whatever. Okay, let's try this. We, we're gonna need another whiteboard, okay? So, uh, because we are running out of space. I don't expect to be a very long proof, but oh well. I need some heavy whiteboard. I really like this stable heavy whiteboard. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this guy. I really like this heavy weight. Okay, it's, ooh, it's heavy. 
Look at this table. I like this guy. Yeah. And I like this color green, so I have green pen right here, so good. I don't know what we did here. Who cares, right? Yeah, mu, 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 mu algebra. Mu. Like a cow. I'm in a very good mood because uh, people I met in the bar, club, they're very nice to me. So, yeah, I'm in a good mood, okay? So, yeah, good. Okay, to prove, okay, we have definition of K, right? KDT, right? Yeah, that's bad. Okay. Now, stop. Proof TQD plus one uh, does not belong to KDT. Okay, so that, that's what we need to prove. Okay. Okay, so we have to do proof by contradiction, maybe. Okay, so let's assume it belongs. Or not, we, we don't have, I'm not sure if we have to do con, this contrapositive proof, proof by contradiction, or just do deduction, I don't know, we'll see. I rather just do deduction, okay, so, okay. We just do x times z. We was x times. So x is the, yeah. It's I guess kind of proof by contradiction ish. <laughs> okay. We got a prism of space, so it's too low hanging. All right, okay, proof. We'll, we'll try, okay? Attempted proof. All right, so uh, let's say x is this, so x times d, assume this left-hand side, right-hand side, right? So assume, I mean, Let's spell it out. T cube plus, plus one B does belong to K D T then X times D then X times D is equal to T Q D it's not L is D, okay. Uh plus one that's X because we are assuming it, okay, so times D TQD times D plus D uh, is less than T. Okay, so we, we will have to disprove this yet. Okay. We know two things. 
or three things. I don't know. We know uh, t is equal to uh, d times l plus r, where zero r d, and also l is one or more. We prove that shit, okay? And we also know that uh, t is lsd, okay? We know that. Well, actually, L is equal to TQD, right? We have to disprove this thing, all right? So, okay. We have to prove that this guy on the left-hand side is larger than T. That's all we need to prove, okay? Ay. We know that uh, D, T, okay, so, okay, how about this guy? Okay, ah, uh, man. Let's do something like row algebra, okay? So, okay, D times L plus R. So, D, L plus R, Q, D. Uh, is there some periodicity that we can exploit? Uh, maybe we have to create something like Q algebra, okay? So, I think we should, all right? So, um, Maybe there's something like a periodicity, just like row reduction theorem. Maybe there's something like Q reduction theorem, so that we can get rid of this D times L. Okay, so Q algebra. I guess we have to explore that. Okay, so okay, is this same as D times L? Is this same as RQD? Okay, that's a question. I don't know. Q algebra, yeah, we'll have to establish that. We know rho algebra, yeah, this periodicity, we proved that shit, right? Q algebra, yeah, we didn't quite explore that yet. Okay, well, let's make some examples. Okay, so um, let's say D is three. Okay, D is three. Divisor is three, and you have what three times x plus two. For example, when x is one, five q three. Okay, five q three. Is this same as when x is 2, 8q3? Is this same? What is 5q3? Oh, that's 1. 8q3, that's 2. Okay, so that's not correct. Uh, okay, so that's not correct. All right, but we don't have to stop here. Okay, because uh, uh, we can modify this equation, this formula. Okay, so... Uh, I think it's like this, right? So, uh, I got some idea here. And we're gonna switch color. Okay, so, 
my hypothesis is that QD, this divisor, right? And Okay. We're gonna come up with a new, brand new formula real soon. Okay. So. All right. Yeah, then I equal, but we can tweak the equation a little bit, formula a little bit, okay? So, so they are not equal, okay? So uh, then what is it? Uh, it's like uh, when L is equal to zero, then they are the same, right? But when L is not equal to zero, uh, Okay, so we have what, 2Q3 is equal to zero, right? So, okay, okay. Two is like three times zero plus two, right? Yeah, we some, see some pattern here, okay, so. Zero zero one one two two three three. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, this guy is equal to L. Okay, so. Uh, D times L plus R. Q D is equal to L. Okay, so yeah, that's what I think that's what it is. We are dealing with the quotient, not remainder. Okay, so it's different from row algebra, right? So uh, it's something very exotic, something very new, all right? I mean, of course, as long as R from zero and less than D, okay, so then, yeah, that's quotient algebra theorem. Q 
quotient, okay, we have row reduction theorem, right? We have co quotient reduction theorem, all right? That's that. And we'll prove it, okay? So I know it's taking very long time, but I think it's worthwhile. I cannot promise you that, but at least to me, at least, it's worthwhile because I'm having fun, okay? It's entertaining. I'm not having sex. I didn't come home with a girl from the bar club. No, I'm alone. But I'm having fun. I'm satisfied. Okay. I want you and need you to learn from me. Okay, so sex, animalistic thing, eating, sex, eating. Animalistic thing, okay, so Yeah, we are doing mathematics and we can be satisfied with mathematics Metaphysical higher level, okay, so that's why I'm doing this Because I need you to learn this So that you don't get STD. You don't become obese All right, stop eating stop having sex. Okay, so no more sex No more sugar and fat don't eat, okay? Yeah, you gotta eat. Yeah, eat beans. <laughs> eat noodles. Chicken breast. Eat healthy. Vegetables, fruits. Eat healthy, okay? But no sex. Don't have sex, okay? I mean, unless you're married. In anti ultra internationalistic way. Okay, so. <laughs> we'll take a break very soon, okay, so. Quotient reduction theorem, okay, something looks like it's something very powerful, okay Quotient reduction theorem We're gonna prove this shit, all right Yeah We we'll prove this shit we, we need to Yeah, but they are not equal, okay, so Alice's Wonderland, yeah, rabbit hole, okay, but yeah, it's Sunday morning by now it's like four o'clock Sunday okay but hey Sunday I have time I took a nap I'm at home yeah I can drink I can do mathematics vodka mathematics baby <sighs> doesn't get better than that shit <laughs> by this Korean Asian American Alaskan guy who's doing vodka like every night and he's doing fucking mathematics he's fucking running for fucking president of the United fucking States doesn't get worse than that doesn't get worse than that oh <laughs> yeah so don't vote for me okay yeah I'll be ashamed I feel sorry okay don't vote for me okay in 2010 November, don't do not vote for me, okay? So because you're rebellious, right? If I tell you, don't vote for me. Maybe you will vote for me. So politics, stupid shit, right? <laughs> yeah, reverse psychology. Yeah, whatever, bullshit. We rather call it action reaction physics. In humanology, we love physics. Okay, so take five. Okay, take a break. <sighs> Kids, when are you gonna grow up? Me, when am I gonna grow up? Maybe never, because I wanna be a child, forever young, right? Yeah. Just like Jesus said, it be like a child. I don't wanna grow up. I wanna be retarded. Fuck. You said. Alright, take five, okay? Take five.
Okay, I'm cooking my breakfast, okay? So, uh, it's kind of bad. But, uh, yeah, it's Alice's Wonderland rabbit hole. Ah, my goodness. <laughs> we have to find out the whiteboard, okay? So, yeah, okay. Just got that there. Yeah, well, we'll do this guy, okay, so, yeah, let's do this guy. Okay. Magenta, okay, so. Here's some rare magenta here. Let's use magenta, okay, so. Yeah. Okay, you have, we have two reduction theorem, okay, so quotient reduction theorem. Um, analogous to role reduction theorem, okay. We are not doing any group fucking theory, okay? Yeah, group theory is beautiful. Yeah, I kind of get it, okay? It's very abstract, metaphysical, pattern, higher level. I get it. It's beautiful. Group theory is good, okay? But I don't know much about it, okay? So I talk shit about it instead because I'm kind of like hell dweller. <laughs> I'm a loser, okay? So. Just like the Beatles sang about, I'm a loser, I'm a loser, na, 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 na. whatever. I can't care less about group theory, okay, because I'm a loser. I don't understand what they're saying, okay, so. I'm kind of down to earth kind of guy. Yeah, group theory, yeah, this spirit, like Jesus, this Jesus poster, like trying to ground him down to earth. Jesus poster, okay, it's funny picture. Look it up, okay. So, <laughs> I'm not Jesus, I'm no Jesus, I'm no saint, I'm no angel. I don't know higher mathematics, all I know, all the mathematics I know is kind of ground level. I'm a crawling, earth crawling ant. Like, maggot. But not faggot, I'm not gay. And it's, I'm not underground, below the normal, below the average. No, I'm not that. I'm about, I'm about average, average, average. Okay, I'm not above average or below average. I'm just average American, okay, Alaskan, Asian. Whatever. Okay. So, where are we now? Quotient. Reduction theorem. Okay, QRT, all right. That's what we're gonna do. If we divide this this guy 
by D. <laughs> of course, of course, it is L. It's by definition, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's of course true. It's by definition of Euclidean division, okay? So QED is proven, all right? That's by definition, all right? Okay. Why are we doing this now? Uh, there's some significance to this, okay, so. Okay. Well, let's prove this, okay, so, all right, so. Come on. This is from definition, okay? So, okay, let's prove it or regardless. Kind of stupid, but yeah, I'm stupid, okay? You're not. I am, okay? I'm, I'm stupid idiot, all right? So, uh, It's too obvious to prove. Okay. Let's say number n is equal to d times l plus r, where Positive integer, okay, so dot. Then by definition. What is n? D times. <laughs> ah! QED, okay, yeah. Let me take a picture of this shit. Because something extremely stupid. Something stupid. Yeah, like what? Well, Frank Sinatra, Nancy Sinatra, father and daughter, all right? Something stupid. I'll sing that song for you because after taking this picture. <clears throat> la 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 da 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 something by a ruiro by something stupid like I love you it's something really stupid okay uh, portion reduction theorem Ay.
<sighs> oh, sorry. We have what? 45 minutes left. That's good enough. Very good. I just noticed that Q kind of looks like R. You have R, right? R, Q. Don't they look similar? Just noticed. You have R, right? And then you have Q. You have R, okay, R. If you slide it down, it becomes Q, okay? RQ kind of looks similar to me. Like Q. Yeah, it's just like R. Something I noticed, okay? So, oh well. Okay, we have that. So, what's the use? Is this useful? Uh, I would want to think so, okay, I, I'm not sure yet, but I think it, it will prove useful, okay, I think it will be useful to us. Okay, I wrote this down so I can erase it, right? So let's go ahead with this proof by contradiction with this quotient fucking theorem. Okay, so yeah, that's what we are trying to do. Quotient fucking theorem. Quotient theorem. Okay. Should we call it quotient fucking theorem? QFT. Nah, nah. Just kidding. Okay. So. Hey. I'm just copying it down, okay? So proof, assume x times d is equal to uh, tq d times d plus d is t or less, okay? Let's assume that, all right? So, hey. Uh, So, T is equal to uh, D times L plus R, alright, so, then, TQD, then, TQD is equal to what? DL plus R QD, which is by uh, quotient 
reduction theorem. Uh, L. Okay, so the same as L. Okay, so okay then. x times d is equal to ld plus d, okay? <coughs> and we ask, is this less than or equal to t? Well, we'll see. Maybe we are getting close. I don't know. Okay, so. Let's see. We need to dis disprove this inequality, okay? So equal inequality, okay? So Not easy proof. Okay, well, T is equal to LD plus R, right? Okay, so you are saying LD plus D is less or equal to what? T is LD plus R, right? L, LD plus R. Okay, so LD, LD cancel out. So is D less than or equal to R? We'll see. Is this a contradiction? I don't know. It is a contradiction. Ladies and gentlemen, we found it. Okay? Because we posited that R is less than D, strictly. And now we are saying D is less than R. No. It's opposite of that. R is less than D, strictly. So, but, but, R is supposed to be less than D. But it's, this guy is saying, R is equal to or larger than D. Contradiction. exclamation mark fucking three times okay 666 we don't want that so yeah we'll do one more time okay so, okay so that's why uh, this is not true okay so we we proved it it took us very long time it took me a very long time, but we proved it, okay? So we got it. So, we'll clean this up. We'll organize it, and we'll review it, and we'll do it in a nice format, okay? And I'll write down pencil on paper, okay? And take a picture, whatever, right? But uh, we proved it. Proof by contradiction, okay. So. Oh. It took us a very long time though, but we did it. Okay, so we proved quotient theorem, okay. I mean, it's not group theory, it's not topology, okay. Something metaphysical, higher, me oh, angelic, cherubic, divine. No, 
the, those are group theorists. Group theory, Galois, Abel, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Stanford. We are not that. I, I'm not that. I'm an underdog. I just crawl on the earth. Sometimes I go beneath like earthworm, maggot, ant. I'm no Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Stanford, high class, elitist. No, I'm. All I'm doing is nothing fancy, nothing group algebra, this group theory, metaphysical, higher mathematics, advanced. No, I'm not that. I'm just crawling on the earth, like mega earthworm. But we prove something, and that means something to me. I'm happy. Although I'm not a fucking president, fucking Trump billionaire president, I'm not that, but I'm happy. Okay? I call this a success. And I call you a success. Do you have children? Are they good kids? Then you are a success. Because your children is the next generation of the world. You have been a very good parent. I appreciate that. I call you a success because you educated your children very well. I appreciate it. Okay? This, yeah, yeah it's something small. It took me forever, right? But I call this a success because it's correct. It's a good child. Okay, all right, let's call it a day. I'm getting really hungry by now, okay? So, yeah, we're gonna organize it. We're gonna clean this up, okay? And, uh, but we proved it. Quotient theorem, okay? Oh my goodness. We made it, okay? So, I'm not gonna erase anything, okay? I have some whiteboard back there. We're gonna review this, redo this in an organized fashion but we made it okay so QED baby we love writing this because it's kind of a small award after all this toil and moil labor we finally achieved it accomplished it okay we succeeded QED. Thus, that was the proof. Demonstration. Cool as demos. I don't know. I don't know Latin. Alright, thank you. Yeah, we'll continue this tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Bye.